Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest UEFN tutorial that will show you how you can create in Unreal Editor for Fortnite a form of armed boss figure that can be then added to your level and with which players can interact and have fun as they battle it out and do that using weapon-based combat because in my previous video which you can find on my channel I did a short tutorial on how you can create a boss like figure with your monster spawner or creature spawner but in this case we're going to be using a guard spawner and create an armed figure so a figure that is holding a weapon and using that weapon which will act as a boss and who will have the potential and the ability to kind of go at the player through a range of different settings so as you can see we'll just basically be using a guard spawner and a bunch of editable elements of the guard spawner both in UEFN and in Fortnite Creative and with that we'll be able to create a basic underlining option of having that boss figure which you can then edit and modify however like through basically test play so first starts we're going to find the guard spawner in your content browser in your content right here under all it's our original Fortnite creative device so let's search for guard spawner and here it is as you can see it's the same device as you find the one you will find in your Fortnite creative level I set it here away from my player which is right here and now let's get to the editing part first let's rotate the same guard spawner to be facing us now once it's selected we have a lot of options right here as you can see the first thing that we're going to change is go for ah, basically any form of guard you would like to use and set it to spawn count one so we're going to leave uh, spawn through walls and enable at the game start but this is um, actually really important allow for infinite spawn no we just want to have total spawn limit of one we just want to have a single guard that we're going to spawn under this is all under the advanced options we have options for character cosmetics but now for guard team option we're going to set it to wildlife and creatures so it basically attacks everyone we don't want to change any of these but we want to have this starting health let's put it to a thousand second max health again thousand but we're going to add a shield as well this is a pretty interesting option something that you can't use with your creatures at least not easily you probably can traverse traverse coding but we're going to stick to regular options inside uefn and let's set the shield to 200 and max shield is 200 as well we're also going to show the health bar because we would want to see the amount of damage we're dealing at the same kind of figure and what's happening with the shield and health as well uh, we're going to keep all of these we're not going to add any patrol points you could do that as well if you'd like to have your guard patrolling but we don't want to do it right now uh, we have a visibility range we can turn it up to let's say 50 and we have uh let's say accuracy which is also important it's now moderate but we can set it to any of these as much as we want or need it based on the test play that you're going to have so a simple rule of thumb is to have if you have a kind of a tank like boss the tank is able to deal somewhat damage in sense of how much damage it takes uh, is able to dish out but has a lot of health um, if you have somebody who's for example very high in accuracy there should be ha have low amounts of health and low amounts of shield and a weapon that can do moderate damage so it's basically a balancing act I'm going to leave it at moderate and it's going to be something that is a boss like figure that is able to react but isn't going to kill us immediately and now we're going to move with all of these changes we're going to save them 
and we're going to move into Fortnite Creative to kind of add a few other options in there as well. And here we are in Fortnite Creative, here is the guard spawner. The thing that we want to kind of modify here, the ability we have to modify here, we can again go into guard. We have a lot of options again as we went through most of them but we're going to keep all of these and instead we're going to go and add a weapon to the same guard to the same boss figure to do that we're going to stand right be near the spawner we're going to go into our content and go into weapons and search for guard Right now there are only several options, this is something that uh, UEFN and Fortnite Creative changed. Previously there was an option of kind of having loads of guard weapons. I think that right now you can basically add pretty much anything to a guard, but we're going to add this assault rifle and we're simply going to place it here and say drop or go for the drop option. We're going to go back and as you can see the guard spawner immediately accepted quote unquote the same weapon which is now available to the same guard and we can see it here this is the weapon that the same boss figure to be precise will use once they get spawned so that should kind of cover all of the elements for your arm boss figure and with them we'll should be able to kind of get into more complex more demanding boss fights right from the get-go so let's try it out and here we are we're in the game there is my guard my boss figure it didn't see me so far so i'm going to equip my gun and as you can see it's moving about it looks normal but once i get into my aim mode and confront it like this as you can see it's alert you can see the shield you can see the same health bar and the same guard type in this case a boss figure is engaging me so let's see if i can put a bit of a dent inside of the same figure it's going to be a tough one as you can see i'm barely making a scratch thanks to the a lot of a high level of health that it has so i'm at my final ammo and I'm likely not going to be able to make it and that's it so the guard still my boss figure still has a lot of health that he's able to use against me not that much accuracy but that could be tweaked as well however it as you can see adds for a really fun gameplay experience and this is how you basically create your arm guard someone who is able to become an arm boss fight figure and someone who is able to turn your experience of your level into something a lot more exciting and interesting than if you simply use your regular guard types in this case you can have a single special guard who is actually the arm boss so there you have it, that's my tutorial, hopefully you found it useful, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for being here, my name is Ivica, there is a bunch of ways how you can support me, you can become my Patreon supporter on Patreon, you can buy my books on Amazon, on Amazon, and you can do the simplest, easiest and cheapest way to support me, and that is to subscribe to my channel and be here for my new videos, if you do that, thank you so much, and again, thanks for watching. Have loads of fun in your UEFN projects and I'll be seeing you in my new video. Bye bye.